Hey, this is Alex with Grow How. Uh, today I want to talk about tomatoes. Now, one thing that, that we, I have to state up here is I'm here in Utah. Here in Utah, Idaho, which is that way, Nevada, most of Colorado, Arizona, most of New Mexico, parts of California, and who knows how, how the heck far east, actually parts of Idaho and Oregon, we have different soils than the rest of the country does. Our soils are fairly alkaline. That alkalinity is caused by salts, um, a little bit of sodium salt, calcium salt, magnesium, manganese, a lot of salts. Um, that, that causes us the alkalinity, and a lot of that is calcium. And with tomatoes, every year, this time of year, all the Facebook groups and stuff are posting these tomatoes with a, a rotten bottom end, a blossom end that's rotten. It's called blossom end rot, oddly enough. Now, what causes this condition is fairly well understood. The plant cannot get calcium to the fruit. There's a couple of reasons it can't get calcium for, for, from the fruit. The first reason is there's not enough calcium in the soil. Well, again, here in Utah and those areas I mentioned, plus a few more, probably out well into the plain states, there's just simply not a problem with calcium in the soil. Now, if you have a raised bed and artificial soil or soil mix, you might have a calcium problem. If it's in the ground, very, very unlikely. It would actually be hard uh, unless that soil you know, came from a bag or a box for that to be a calcium problem in the soil. But what does happen is there's calcium uh, in the way it moves. If your tomato dries out, gets wet, dries out, gets wet, dries out, gets wet, uh, the calcium doesn't move very well in the plant. The tomatoes have a really hard time uh, absorbing that and moving it to the fruit. Now, a lot of people are going to say, put eggshells in there. The eggshells won't break down very quickly at all. Even if you crush them, they're not going to be available that year. I mean, you, you can grind them to a fine powder. It might help in a couple years. Uh, yeah, you can go get a calcium supplement that'll help. You Just like any other part of the country. Um, calcium based fertilizer. I don't know which ones work best because I have so much calcium in my soil. I don't want to add more. Uh, in fact, anything, my soil would be a little bit easier to deal with with less calcium. So the solution is then comes to water. Uh, well, I mentioned about how getting it wet and letting it dry out, that in inhibits the, the uptake of calcium. Keeping it too wet can do the same thing. So you have to balance it out so that it's evenly moist if you want to grow a blossom end rot free tomato in Utah. And as I say that, I should also mention that quite often the first two to five tomatoes you get in Utah will have the problem. The plant just doesn't seem to quite have figured out how to move that calcium yet or not developed its systems properly. And then you have to, again, water it evenly keep it moist but not wet um, and that's a balance uh, one of my prior videos I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link below is about using a, a soil probe to determine how much water your soil has and how wet it is that'll save you a lot of heartache now there's one more thing that will cause blossom and rot it's still a calcium problem but if you're planting Roma tomatoes Roma 3 tomatoes there's some other tomatoes that I know I have problems with not that I have problems, but you may have problems with, those are just notoriously bad for blossom end rot. First time I grew aromas, not a problem. Second time I grew aromas, not a problem. Grew them out here on this soil, slight, I got some Roma 3s, which are not exactly aromas. I got like two or three fruit on them last year. Um, the variety made the difference. If you're going to do aromas, if you're gonna do Roma 3s, if you've noticed that one variety is particularly having a problem, probably gonna to need to go with a calcium supplement. And don't be cheap on it. Get one that's made for preventing blossom end rot. That means it's gotta be something that the plant 
can absorb easily and quickly. But if you don't have those varieties and you're here in Utah, Colorado, anywhere in the West where we have these, these high calcium soils, focus on your water. You're gonna get more out of watering correctly than amending and it's cheaper. And honestly, you just don't need to do it. Why put work into it? Why put money into it when the solution's just changing the time of your water? Anyway, there's tomatoes for you. If you've got any other questions, got the comments below to ask. Um, please, I ask you, subscribe. I'm trying to get these videos out to more people on YouTube. And to do that, you've got to have more people subscribing and more people watching. That's just the way our world works. We get attention by getting attention. Go figure. And then if you want to get notifications for everything I put out, hit the bell next to the subscribe button and Facebook will let you know every time I release a video. If you hit the just the subscribe button, they'll just suggest my videos more often. I think that's an optimal way to do it myself, but hey, choice is up to you folks. I do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. We'll catch you later.